So now I am at bill number two, which is site works. And actually, what are the items and the subsections that we will have in the site works? We have the site exploration generally. So this is just allowing for carrying out necessary tests and investigation of the ground conditions and water table to verify the findings of geotechnical investigation report and all of this stuff. So this is the site exploration and this is just an item here measured in item. So one and we'll put some lump sum amount for this. And then we have the site preparation. So you have to prepare the site and this will be in square meters, which is just the area of the site. And after that, we have the excavation. And actually for the excavation, we have three items here. We have excavation to reduce levels and we have trench excavation and we have pit excavation. And all of them are measured in cubic meter. So to reduce level will be just reducing the natural ground level by a certain depth or something. And the trench excavation where you place the beams and the pit excavation for the foundations or the footing, for example. Then after the excavation, we have the disposal. And actually the disposal of materials arising from excavation will be disposed. So it can be backfilled into excavations or it can be removed off site, including a suitable tip. And this will also be in cubic meters. So I have two items here for the disposal. One is to backfill existing excavations or we can dispose it out of the site. After that, we have the anti-termite treatment and the anti-termite treatment will be just in square meters. So maybe the area below foundation, below slab on grade and maybe the vertical area of the excavation as well. So this will depend on the project specifications and everything. And after that, you have the filling. But here, when we talk about the filling, I am not talking about the backfilling because we have talked already about the backfilling here under the disposal. But the filling that we are talking about is, for example, bits of 10 centimeters thick or something like that. So these will be measured here. This can be below different substructure elements like slab on grade or even foundations or foundation beams and so on. And if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adil and you are watching Coast Engineering Professional. And here the goal is to help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you're looking for, the subscribe button is actually not far. It will be somewhere around this video so you can go and subscribe. So after that, we will just go to the next subsection, which is external services. And here there is a common misconception for everyone that site works just excavation and backfilling and that's it and don't give us headache and all of this stuff. But no, if you are making the BOQ in accordance with POMI, Principles of Measurement International, then the site works is a very big bill actually. And as we can see here, the external services, so I am talking here about pipes or ducts or cables. So here the excavation of trenches for external services, not exceeding, for example, 100 mm dia. And we have the average depth here for a pipe or duct or cable. So this will be measured in linear meter. So such items will be there in the BOQ in the site works, but measured in linear meter. And after that, you have the imported filling materials, which can be bids and surrounds to pipes, ducts and cables. Also, this is an imported filling to fill around the cables or the ducts or the pipes that you have in the external works. And here also we are measuring this in linear meter and we have average depth, as you can see, and the number of pipes or ducts or cables. Then after that, we have UPVC cable ducts and their fittings as well. So for example, here 50 to 100 mm dia for telephone and data system. So this is a duct, UPVC cable duct. I am measuring the ducts here in the site works. So all of this, I'm just talking here about the external services. What also do we have? We have power supply manhole. So complete manhole. I am measuring the complete manhole here in the site works. So as you can see, internal size or a manhole of internal size 60 by 60 by 1.2 meters depth. This is measured in numbers, for example. Here, when we talked about the UPVC cable duct, it was measured in linear meter and so on. So if we continue, we are still talking about the external services. So external services continued. So we have, for example, earth pits complete. So the complete earth pit with all this description and everything. We have earth pit for power supply services and we have earth pit for telephone and data service. And all of them or both of them will be measured in numbers. So we will just count them. 
and also we have telephone and data entry box so the entry box also will come under the site works because if we are talking about a plot for example and there is a villa inside this plot all these services will be external to the villa so these will come under the site works so telephone and data entry box manhole so again the same one 60 by 60 by whatever depth we are also counting or measuring this in numbers and then we have here underground reinforced concrete ready-made water storage tank so water tank also because this is external to the building or to the villa that we are talking about so it will come under the site works because it is something external we don't have a bill in in POMI that is called external works if you have something external either services or stuff like that this will come under the site works even the landscape as we will see now so here we have the water tank and these are the dimensions of the water tank and the capacity and everything and this is measured in numbers then also so we have talked now about generally let's go from the beginning we have site preparation then we talked about excavation these are the subsections that we talked about in the theoretical part disposal here anti-termite filling and external services we talked about external services and we continue talking about external services here now underground drainage also so if you have a drainage network out of the villa for example but it is inside the plot limit so this is also site work because it is external so for underground drainage for example we have here foul and waste water drainage and vent installation so here excavation of trenches for drainage pipe this also this excavation with this much depth will be measured in linear meter and we also have imported filling material surrounding to pipes ducts and cables and all of that this is also measured in linear meter then for the drainage also you have upvc underground drain pipes so this will be measured also in linear meter i know this is drainage but it is external drainage it is out of the building so it comes under the site works and here it will come under this one which is underground drainage so the UPVC underground drain pipes with different diameters will come here and it will be measured in linear meter. After that, you also have the drain accessories. So for example, a P trap and these will be measured in count or in numbers. Then the gilly traps also with this size. So you will put the size here in the description and they will be measured in numbers. All of this is site works. Then after that, you have catch basin with sand trap also in numbers and mentioning the size and everything here we are continuing talking about the underground drainage so for example glass reinforced plastic manholes so these are manholes and this is the description of the manhole so you have manhole one two three and so on and these are the different uh, sizes for the manholes and also they will be measured in count because i am talking about underground drainage and after that we have the fic the final inspection chamber and the internal size will be this much and it is also measured in numbers then you have the concrete block paving which is the paving the interlocking tiles or whatever that you will be using so you have that for the ground level and this will be measured in a square meter then again maybe another here we have one interlock for the footway and we have another interlock for the carriageway or the vehicular area and also the curb stone for example so you have heel curb here and this is measured in linear meter the paving is in a square meter and then after that you will have the generally where the contractor can list all the items that are not mentioned above but generally this is how we prepare the site works boq it looks like that i didn't want to make this video very long because i just want you to go through the items and understand the subsections and the items that come under them and thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video these two videos here is something that you will like.